Earth's men invades Celestial Church in Delta State. See what they did. Gunmen suspected to be Fulani Hetzmen on Friday night stormed a branch of the Celestial Church at Iguzo in Oshimili North, local government area of Delta State, where they killed the resident pastor, Stephen Akbo. The deceased, who was transferred from Calabar last year, was said to be praying and counseling five of its members at the church, Celestial Church of Christ, Breakthrough Cathedral, Iguzo Parish. I, when the hoodlums struck, they were said to have shot the pastor several times through the window, which they forced open after failing to break the locked door. The pastor's wife had to take cover while the shooting was going on. Most supreme evangelist Isaiah George of the Archdiocese of Ugeli, I, who raised down from Ugeli as a result of the incident, said his late colleague hailed from Orogun in Ugeli, not local government area of the state. A member of the church, Mr. Temitope, gave a detailed account of the invasion, saying, We were here in the church premises with a prophet and some church members when suddenly two Fulani men came with rifles and ordered us to lie down. Then our pastor got up and went into his room. They beckoned on him to come back, but they ignored. At that point, those of us lying down were marched into the bush, and they ordered us to remove our garments and lie facing down. As we were about complying, one of them realized that they had left one person at the church again, led us back to meet with the pastor. When we got back, they again ordered us to lie down while one of them went to meet the pastor in the room. Next thing we heard was an argument as the pastor refused to open the door. At that point, the second one joined them and they started shooting inside from the window after they removed the nets. That was when he had the opportunity to escape into the bush. He was gone down through the window before the police got here and took him to the general hospital. Iguzo, he died. A patron of the church, Mr. Peter Lotobi, who spoke via telephone, said as soon as he got the wind of the attack, I got in touch with the police when I saw them around Kefas Road in Iguzo and alerted them about it. But before we got there, it was already too late. Meanwhile, one of the doctors who received the disease at the Iguzo General Hospital said the pastor was also stabbed after being shot, adding that he died as a result of the injuries he sustained from the stabbing. When contacted, the police public relations officer in the state, DSP Onome of Wekbuweye, confirmed the incident, adding that the police had commenced an investigation into the matter. She said the police and local vigilante were on the trail of the suspected hoodlums, expressing hope that the suspect will be apprehended and punished. Thank you for listening to this news. Wow. This is what we are saying. Fulani Etzman. You see, I don't know what's happening. The South South really need to do something concerning this Etzman. They really need to do something concerning their issue. Enough of this too many keeping quiet. A final decision should be done concerning them. I won't say they are enjoying this killing because too many attacks has, has actually been made on this 
on 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 the south south. The south south have been attacked too many times, and it doesn't go well. It doesn't go down well. It doesn't go down well. The killer headsmen, and 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 the way they behave to the neighborhood, the way they behave to farms. To 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 forest to uh, to forest, the way they behave to citizens. I will say that it's hard time that the federal government do something finally about them. Let's forget who is. Let's forget the fact that the person ruling is actually from that place. It's our time we close up the issue of this Earthman. It's our time we kiss them a goodbye because they have eaten more than they can chew. You can imagine. You can imagine the bloody attack. What has this man of God done to them now? We are complaining of, we are, we, we are, we are trying to get ourselves away from from one issue, another another one is coming. Who are these idiots? Who are the who are these people? This is what we are talking about. President Momo Boy is there. He will be hearing all of this. He will be listening. He will be hearing that these are what his people, his people, the Fulanis are doing. He will just keep deaf ears. He will not. He won't even do any. He want to do anything because they are from his place. If you start. Clinching and clearing them off. That is when we we, we decide to stand on his feet. What we'll betide him by the time he's, this the Nigerians decide to take it upon themselves to clean and close up everything concerning every full and in this country. What is it? Can't one close its eyes in peace and sleep in peace everywhere. In each state, it's concerning the full and their devilish attack. If it is not uh, 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 killing, it will be raping. If it's not raping, it will be stealing. How, how can this be happening? I, I, I'm, I'm suspecting that the president, the, the president Momo Boris, equally have a hand in this. Why? I'm not saying that. Is the one sending them pot. What I'm dri driving at is that the president, I think, is not meeting up as expected. What is expected of him by the Fulanese is not doing it. So they have decided to frustrate his government. Because if they do all of this, we start passing the blame on him for insecurity. So I'm putting up to the president that he should take it up. He should take it up or else Nigerians will stand just like as they stand for the Boko people. And I, 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 don't, I, don't, I just don't know. The enough is enough. We cannot take it any longer. These people cannot continue to eat their cake and have it. We are not morons. We know what we can do. They are not even up to a quarter soldiers that Nigeria has. So if Nigeria decide to take it up on them, they will be a forgetting soul. So the president should better do something concerning their case. I am saying this through this blogging channel. To who knows whosoever that knows them to deliver it to them that they should repatriate, they should repent from their attack because Nigerians are watching. They are watching. By the time they decide to take it up on them, they will not, they, 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 they won't even like to remain in any state of this country. They can't continue to eat their cake and have it because 
we have a Fulani president. I can, I can, I will boldly say that it's only in this place, the Mobile administration, that we are expressing this too many headsmen attack. It wasn't like this in other administration. So they are taking advantage, a very big advantage of this administration. And so Nigerians need to do something about it. So I will say clearly that Boris Andrusha is not, it's not a favorable one at all. It's not a favorable one, but an headache and a bone on the neck. So my viewers, please, your